Good morning. My name is Rick Cox. I'm a teacher at uh, Northside Christian Church and also a member of the praise team. I come to you this morning to give you a lesson on encouragement or how to receive or understand, understand happiness. I was raised by my grandma and my grandma always taught me one thing. It is on the outside is going to make you happy. So what's on the inside? So many times we look to things on the outside to make us happy. At this time of civil unrest and all the things that are going on in our country, we look towards the outside, things to make us happy. But when we really research the scripture, we find out that really to understand happiness, we have to look on the inside. There's a passage my grandma used to read every day. And I thought it was kind of silly. I didn't know what passage it was for a long time. So I went back to her bedroom one time, opened her Bible, and there it was. A rose laid as a bookmarker on her favorite passage. And it's Psalms, the 23rd chapter. We really need to understand what Psalms, Psalms 23 is really about. The one thing it's about is our personal relationship with God and how on the inside he leads us to better, bigger and better things. If you would, I'd like to read Psalms, the 23rd chapter. This is a King James Version. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He make me lie down in green pastures. He lead me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they shall comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup of runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. If you notice in the first three verses, how many times the word he, he referring to God and what he does for me and how he makes me happy or content with my life. He maketh me, he makes me to lay down in green pastures. He being God leads me to the still waters and he restores my soul. He lead me in the path for righteousness for his name's sake. Notice there, all the things he does for me, my relationship with God, on a spiritual level, all those things that may be surrounding me in my life, doesn't matter except my relationship with him and let him lead me. It says, yea, in verse 4, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, yea, I walk through the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. All the things that may be around me are not going away. He's going to do it. I can, don't have to worry even though I fear, for God is always with us. His rod and his staff comfort us. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of my enemy. Thou anoint my head with oil. My cup it runs over. Even though things are bad around me, I know it's going to be okay because he is with me. And lastly, one thing I can look forward to. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will be with God forever. We need to stop and pause and think of all those things around us that are making us happy or content. What are they? Money? Uh, civil content? Everything's going on right civilly around us? No, what makes should make us happy is our relationship with God. So many times we worry about our relationship with others, uh, material material things in our lives but yet we don't look inward there's a christian song and it says lord change me from the inside out jesus spoke about this it wasn't bread that corrupted man it's what's on the inside that comes out so if i had one message for you today it is in psalms 23 always put your trust in the lord and you surely goodness and mercy will follow you the rest of the days of your life thank you